Hello, Connecticut. I am Harry Beecher Stowe, and I am running for President of the United States of America. I am a white, female, American abolitionist, author, and social activist, actually born and raised right here in Connecticut. You probably know me from my first book, Uncle Tom's Cabin, and or my very famous religious Beecher family. I'm up here running for president today because I believe I'll have the power to abolish slavery in America. But a government is nothing without its people, right? So I'll be taking questions from the crowd now. Oh, and my voice may sound a little deeper because I'm feeling a little under the weather today. <clears throat> Why did you write Uncle Tom's Cabin? When I wrote it in 1852, just two years before that, Congress had passed the Fugitive Slave Law. I'm sure you all know that it started unjust treatment towards African-American free men, women, and children, and fugitives. I, I also quite possibly had a vision from God himself of a dying slave during a communion service I had at Brunswick's First Parish Church. Combined, I was outraged by the law and inquiring into my vision. I felt the need to get my voice out there somehow. So I wrote Uncle Tob's Cabin, describing the horrible conditions and abuse African-American slaves had to go through. How much did that book make? Uncle Tob's Cabin? I don't see how that really relates to my political campaign, but if you really want to know, millions. I even got a play, but that's completely besides the point. Is the effect of your book really big enough to get you a spot as president? How rude of you. As unbiased as I can possibly be, it was enough to stir controversy in the South and build an almost national spite against me. It was enough to, within a year, cause the name Eva, a main character in my book, to rise up in popularity by the millions, especially in the Boston, Mar Boston area. And it was enough to get fellow candidate Lincoln to say to me, and I quote, so you're the little woman who wrote the book that started this great war, referring to, of course, the Civil War. I've never believed, however, that my novel alone will get me elected as president. I just want to make it clear that I don't want to be up here as a celebrity. I am up here just the same as any other man to be looked at as a candidate, possible president of your nation. So if we could please steer the questions away from focus on my novel to actual concerns for the country, that'd be amazing. Ah, yes, you there. Slavery has fueled half the economy ever since I was born. How will we live without it? With the invention of the cotton gin, Southerners believe that they can have and monopolize on slaves even more. But they are far from the truth, as this just means that not as much labor force is required. With this, we can introduce the American way, the true American way, into the South with the open opportunity for all to do the same jobs as African-American slaves are doing right now, but with more regulations and equal pay. Well, that looks like all the time I have for now. Thank you, America. The next time I come back here, I should be president. Bye for now, Connecticut.